Catch up and get ahead with The Edge. The New York Times recently listed Jan Jarbo Russell's book, Train to Crystal City, as one of the top books for 2015. See why her book about family detainment during World War II is so relevant today. Replay the Nowcast essay video of a panel discussion and author reading at the San Antonio Public Library when Jan Jarbo Russell, Lauren Turek, and Jason Johnson talked about internment, detainment, and the plight of others in America. A passage I've never read publicly before because it's very emotional for me. Irene uh, Hassenberg's father, when she was born in Germany, but her father was a banker in Amsterdam. She was a close friend of Anne Frank's. In fact, before, right before this passage begins, Ginger Carrick the first Hispanic woman to become a NASA flight engineer will speak at the Conference for Undergraduate Women in Physics at the University of Texas in San Antonio on Saturday, January 16th. You can get a front row seat as Nowcast SA webcasts from the UTSA University Center streaming Ginger Carrick's inspiring story to nine other universities who are also holding three-day conferences on, for undergraduate physics majors. And I got this cute little letter back that said, stay in school, study math and science, but, but I took it literally. So when I was in high school, I took a lot of honors science classes, a lot of honors math classes. Um, they also encouraged me to uh, participate in uh, team activities, whether it be team sports or other. What can doctors do when people don't remember events or their minds create false memories to fill in the gaps? That was the topic when memory deceives of a presentation by Dr. Joseph Ledoux. His fascinating conversation was part of Conversations About Ethics, a free public lecture series hosted by the Center for Medical Humanities and Ethics at the University of Texas Health Science Center. The webcast and video were made possible thanks to underwriting from Methodist Healthcare Ministries. To danger. Most of this work is done in animals, although we, through collaborative studies, um, try to extend the findings to, to humans as well. Now, in this one particular study, though, what we ended up doing was looking at the effects of manipulations of memory after it was formed. Monday, January 18th, is the day we honor Dr. Martin Luther King. In San Antonio, that, that day is celebrated with a march that includes 200,000 or more people. MLK Day is also the day Nowcast SA launched its website. Back in 2010, we streamed the event live on mobile phones. Today, because so many of you are sharing your awesome photos and videos through social media, we want to tell the story in your words and through your eyes, like we did last year when we published contributions from nearly 50 people. Use the hashtag MLKSA during the 2016 March and we'll put, put it together in your words. Go to nowcastsa.com where you can watch, live, or replay the video later and find more information on all these stories. Thanks for watching The Edge.